is that? What's in wait for me there? Hmm. What is that? One of these chests where I can drop something, huh? Forwards? Hope that's not a hidden. The water elements roll anxiously but make no move to attack. Kalika is obviously commanding their attention. The creatures body ripple, they freeze and face the girl. This is what I felt. These creatures. We, we belong to the same elemental force. The girl leans forward. I could be wrong. I feel they are seething. As if, as if, as if they're yearning for freedom. They cannot leave. And they've been trapped in this place for a long time. An incredibly long time. Detect magic. Examine the elementals and the magical seal. The seal has a strong aura. The piece has four a magical trap has tied the elementals in place. Like these little flames. Water elementals at a settlement that perished from a sudden flood. Kali Ki's eyes are full of sorrow. Yes, it seems that someone used them to kill the Taladan and then just ab abandoned them here. But who? Who will use such a powerful magic only to kill some simple miners? The past hides so many secrets. What will happen if we set the elementals free? Could we? I doubt they would attack. They suffer here under the ruthless sun, far from the elemental force. They seem happy to see me. They're pleading for help. I understand. Let's see what we can do. Uh. Die. They come to distance. What's taking so long? Okay. I crave for adventure. So I guess it's not what we need to do. Maybe we need to continue for now. I think it throws back her head and looks upward. Up there, there's a tower there on the cliff. But it would be difficult to climb. Okay, let's do this later. I think I need to do something here. What am I supposed to do? Do you do a fireball spell? Lightning? I don't know. Not giving me options. What is that? Burn. Tell me you forgot how to use it. Yeah. Just happened to me, you son of a bitch. Was not expecting to get hit. Don't tell me you forgot how to use it. I did. I don't know what am I doing. Ah, oh, I missed this text. Oh, never mind. Are you ready for the climb? Yes, we missed. Uh, Clatex 80. We use a rope. Kaliki climbs a cliff with the dexterity of a lizard, but you go stride for stride with her, easily keeping up. Soon the top of the cliff lays before you. My dog, what a beautiful place. And cozy. The cliff seems to embrace this place. And the waterfall. Now we see why Taladin decided to settle you. I love you too. You can stay here from if you want. Oh, my wolf is here. Mm, curious. The remains of Taladin are dead. It seems from the outside that the wall caved in, and it's hopeless to move the rubble. I wasn't expecting enemies, but. My wolf is destroying.
Ricky rarely looks around the area. The tower is destroyed and I, I'm afraid. Oh, that's a demon. Kalik points at the runes. A frightening gargoyle is sitting among them. Is it even a gargoyle? The jewels the monster has gathered in its nest glimmering here and there. The brightest treasure of all is a small disc lying at its feet. It glistens white like incandescent metal, but a moment later it is covered by an abysmal blackness. And it flashes white again. The disc of, the disc of eclipse. That must be it. But how do we... The girl freezes mid-sentence, her eyes wide open, and then... You look in the eyes of a tiefling girl as she emerges from the portal, and she raises her brow expressively. Sam! Such a wonderful day! And what a view! It's not only for the carrot. Your sister taught me the truth. <laughs> you see a glimmer of fear in the girl's al almond-shaped eyes, but she quickly gathers herself. It was to be expected. From the very beginning, I thought the Herald of Nymphans was just joking with us, making us promise to keep everything a secret, by forcing us to switch spontaneously, with no warning, at any moment. I wonder if we will be punished for our failure. Well, what good is it to worry about something you can't change? I'm already living a borrowed life, beyond my time. Kaneki keeps silent for a few moments, contemplating her new situation, but then she smiles coyly. Tell me some. Didn't we say goodbye in a luxurious banquet hall in the rest of the day you received your barony? And now we are sitting all alone at the top of a cliff in some backwater, surrounded by slimy flash-eating toads and other revolting monster. Don't even know which question to ask first. Why or how? <laughs> I guess I'm a baron of many talents. Kanara rolls her eyes ostentatiously. I thought palace, spells, and parrot were the proper entertainment for nobility, but rock climbing isn't too bad either. Your sister asked me to find an artifact. An artifact? It doesn't have to be the disc of eclipse, does it? Of course. It was I who first told you about it. But I imagine us sitting cozy by the fire in your castle, while your servants went off to collect it. But oh well, an adventure it is then. It seems our treasure been stolen by that ugly gargoyle. So what are we supposed to do? Well, let's fight it. We will easily defeat it. Kind of just grins the nuts. Lead the way. I think I can help by adding some fire to this situation. Let's make this quick. What? I was not ready for that. Immediately put down, huh? Okay, that thing is stupidly weak. Don't even wanna use spells. The remains of a dock, the Talamadin launched barts loaded with ore from here. Don't got the nearly indistinguishable remains of an old mechanism. Most likely it was once used to bring ore down from the cliff. Let's see what we have here. Kamara's tail dungeons just above the ground, giving away the tiefling's excitement. She's obviously anxious to grab the disc of the eclipse, but waits for you to nod. Detect magic. Summon the magic aura of the artifact in the surrounding area. You usually find the disc's aura. It's an intrusion artifact. It doesn't seem especially powerful. But you notice something else. Traces of a much stronger aura nearby. It seems that someone very powerful was here before you and did something to the disc. Kanira, I sense something strange. As if someone was here right before us and did something to the disc. The, the tiefling seems surprised. Someone was here before us? Found the treasure and the artifact but didn't take them? So strange. Well, we aren't going to use this right now our, anyway, are we? We just take it to the capital and examine it there. Fine, take the disc. The girl quickly grabs the artifact with both hands and that very instant you hear a loud sound, like a clap. And Kanira is involved in a cocoon of white light, which quickly turns to dark. You hear whisper, you, you hear voices, 
whispering and interrupting each other. They seem to be speaking in images, not natural words. Black, white, bound, split, indivisible. Then the strange phenomenon ends as quickly as it began. The darkness disappears and Kenner is standing just where she was, seemingly intact. But the disc in her hands is gone. Are you alright? And what? Kenner seems to barely hear you. She shakes her head a few times as if, as if she's emerging from a dream. Amazing. I didn't expect this. Listen, the artifact didn't disappear. I can feel it. Like it's a part of me now. I think I... I think I know how to use it. Malik looks at you in complete astonishment. Sam? What? What just happened? I was sleeping in the demi plane. And this time I wasn't pulled out of, out of, out of it like usual. It's like I heard a voice. Can you hear his voice? <laughs> you two are going to drive me insane, I swear. Malik extends her hand in a pleading gesture. I think I'm going to lose my mind. And just when I thought my life couldn't get any cra crazier. See so what happened? Kanira and I recovered the disc of the eclipse and it affected her in a strange way. So what I felt and heard was the influence of the disc. It's so strange. Kaliki closes her eyes and stands still. Her dark hair moves in the wind, but nothing happens for about a minute. Then without opening her eyes, she begins to move her hand. Yes. Now I understand. Hello again. Ah, are we still here in Sorrowfall? So my sweet sister learned how to use our new ability so quickly. I was sure it would take her a year. <laughs> I'm going to try switching us again. Please tell her for me that she's a foolish goat. Kariki looks even more stunned. I'm back again. And again, I heard my sister calling me. I felt it inside. Just like my bond to the elemental forest. Now we can switch places whenever we wish. <laughs> Your sister asked me to tell you to give a nice big hug to the wonderful Baron who helped you so much. Left check passed. <laughs> ah, nah, I'm not interested. Your sister asked me to tell you that you're a foolish goat. That's the goat. I remember when she used to call me a vicious little crocodile or a slobbering camel thorn. So you can now switch whenever you want. Yes. Oh, there's so many thoughts in my head. It's a miracle that we found such a rare artifact that could help us. Or perhaps Nathan planted this all along? And what should we do with this new gift? No. My sister and I must decide how to divide the time.